Hey, guess what? We got challenged today. Can you guess what challenge we got challenged to do? You're going to have to wait and find out. decided to start a YouTube channel. Um, pretty much we got inspiration from a few people that we watch on a regular basis and thought we could do something like that for our area as well. Um, my wife will kind of go over what it's going to be about as well. Our target audience, we plan on reaching everyone in a certain way between either single mothers that are trying to raise children between families planning Disney vacations um, or tips just to even make your life easier um, on top of just families trying to make it day by day. I know I speak to a lot of families that wish they had more time with their children or um, they work so much that they don't get to plan activities. And this way, some of the events we do are a last minute thing as well. So between watching our vlogs and getting ideas, you don't have to take that time to think of things that can pretty much be brought to you. Hey, welcome back to the Hoops Family Network. Amanda here. And Kevin. And today we are going to do the recreate your first video challenge. So this gives you a chance to go back and unwind your nerves and get to redo your whole first video. How awesome is that? 
So today we are going to answer the same questions that we did in our Get to Know About Us video. And this time we'll have some better answers for you. So question number one, what is your name and the name of your channel? Now, my name's Kevin. And I'm Amanda. And this is the Hoops Family Network. It is our last name put together and we thought network sounded a little bit better than just saying like the Hoops family or it sounded more official. Number two is what does the name of your channel mean? Kind of like as it says the Hoops family network or the Hoops family and just network seemed to fit better as a per as a professional channel and so that's why we stuck with that. I mean, we're not just family vlogs, but our vlogs reflect who we are. And we didn't want anything in our name that wasn't us. So number three is where are you from? From Canton, Ohio. We're from Canton, Ohio. I was born and raised in Streetsboro, Ohio. And he's been in the Canton area for... Pretty much my whole life. So, we are pretty much right down the street from the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Number four is, why did you start a YouTube channel? Go ahead. Well, I originally wanted to start the YouTube channel. I wanted to do my name but then we thought that it was something that we could do together and all of our time all of our time together is as a family so it was better to make the family channel to where we could do challenges together um do everything together so plus then we can have the family memories just like a virtual photo album or, you know, movie. As well as, um, we have, hmm. So I wanted to start the YouTube channel as well to be able to express my feelings and opinions and be able to kind of treat this like a journal and keep track of like what we're doing because 10 years from now we're not gonna remember and this is just like creating a home movie so this way we can look back on what we did um, and then if anything happened to us we were able to have these memories for our future family and yeah Number five is, what will your channel be about? And like I expressed before, it's, it's family. We're positive people. We don't like negativity dragging us down. Um, we roll with the positivity. We take our goals, we post them ahead, and we work to get to them. So a lot of our videos are going to be like better organizing, better becoming better people. So our channel is going to be about that positivity um, by making friends. A lot of it could be what's on our mind to what we're thinking of how we're becoming better positive people um, as long as we're promoting positivity we are creating a positive environment for anybody to come in and feel safe to express themselves um we are a judgment-free zone we don't we don't put anybody down for any reason um so anybody is welcome to our channel so anybody would get a a like from our channel um some videos could seem geared toward children 
when they're not. We're two parents putting out videos on what we do with our son. So it could give you guys ideas on what you guys could do with your kids or strike ideas for you guys as well. So number six is who is your target audience? Our tar target audience is more parents, adults, um, teenagers could get a liking from us as well. It's more of the younger adults to older adults. That is our target audience, um, but we're family friendly. So we are the family you can watch with your children around. They're not going to understand it, but yeah. Number seven, what do you hope to achieve with your channel? You want to answer that one? Uh, I guess one of the things we're trying to achieve with the channel is just showing out the positive things in life things you could do as a family whether it be with you and your kids or just you as the husband and wife depending on what your situation is um, just kind of giving positive feedback on things that we see going on we can also give you guys views like of our life we would like to achieve a better atmosphere for the world um i've got several videos coming out about bullying and how it affects affects everybody between infants children adolescents other adults that alone i feel like is going to put out there in the world of everybody what bullying does so people can see it from other aspects we would also like to achieve to where we can hit, so far I'm seeing this now, but we can hit all over the world. I see other countries seeing this video. Um, I would like to boost where we're seeing. Number eight is your top three favorite YouTubers. You know, that kind of varies between me and her because some things we watch the same, some things we don't. Um, like for me, it's mostly Disney stuff I watch to help us plan our Disney trips and stuff. So Tim Tracker is my number one. Uh, Allears.net is another one. And same with DFB, which is Disney Food Blog. They both give some good tips, tricks, and reviews on things going on in the park so kind of nice to know if, if you're big into disney we lately been watching the wdw couple and they've been doing disney reviews and disney planning trips stuff like that and there's also mickey's mickey views mickey views that's it and beyond the kingdoms that's another good one we've been watching. Um, personally, my three top favorite are going to be UGUE Brothers. They're abandoned, um, abandoned videos. Um, they explore abandoned places and they ghost hunt along with the Holy Walkers. And I also like watching Stephanie Harlow, and she's a true crime a YouTuber, and she goes and puts out the whole crime and how it happened and just breaks it down for you, and I enjoy those as well. Number nine is who inspired you to start a channel? And... I want to say he inspired me because I kept talking to him about how I really wanted to get out there and put out a positive message and how I never had really anybody to just talk to and express my feelings 
and I thought what a great way to make a video with whatever I'm thinking or feeling or anything anything that comes across my head that I could share with other people that can either agree or disagree and be fair about it and I just thought what a great platform and especially after starting this channel we have came up with so many awesome friends to come and love on us and we make sure that we return the love as well because it's only fair and that's what a family does a family love and supports you no matter what so that is us and yes, yeah, so he inspired me to start the channel and he wanted to help too. But even though he's when working a lot, exactly. When he can, he works a lot. So I try to incorporate the videos so you guys still have stuff to watch when he's not around. 10. If you could collab with anyone right now, who would it be? Right now, probably be the Tim Tracker. Because he's one of my top people. He started out just saying he wanted to do it for a month every day. And then he, by then he thought originally that he'd probably just give up on it. But 10 years later, he's still doing it daily. So he's kind of a big inspiration to us. Um, also, he's also down in the Disney area. So that's why I'd also like to collab with him. Because I'd be down there with him. And like DFB gets to do a lot of big opportunities because they're a business. So it would be nice to be able to dine at the Royal 21 where not everybody gets to go because it costs $12,000 alone just to do that. So that would be nice to get to do, you know, once in your lifetime. And also, it'd be nice to go on a band and explore with UGUE or even just hit it up with Omar, um, um, with Omar Gosh TV. That would be fun as well. His family seems extremely nice, and I would love to get to meet them. Number 11 is three reasons anyone should subscribe to your channel. So, three reasons would be one. We are positive people. We are who we are. You get us. This is us on any given day. Um, so you're not going to be... What's that What I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. You're not going to be disappointed because we are who we are. Two, why you should subscribe to our channel is we're we're family we take you guys in um we help you guys if you have any questions i'm there helping you you, you need help with the thumbnail you can ask you can ask desiree you can ask d turner gaming he's came for help i will get back to you and actually give you steps on how to help you and number three would be to get a variety of stuff with us. You're not getting just one specific topic. We try to mix it up a little bit so there's something for everyone. And it's so hard for us to choose just one niche because, yes, we're mainly like family vlogs, but I also like to give you guys tips on lifestyle, um, Disney, just anything and everything. The only thing we really don't do is gaming. We don't have the time, especially with a little one. Um, but who knows? That could also be something in the future. Especially since we got a young boy. That could be. So, um, but yeah, to subscribe to our channel, um, you're not going to be disappointed. We are there. We're supportive. We help you all. You tell us that you guys need friends and subscribers. And we're jumping on live. Shouting you guys out. That's another thing. We do shout out videos too. 
So every Saturday, we take the channels that are supporting us, and we give you guys. So every Saturday, you guys get 20 new people that you guys can go check out and become friends with. So that's another reason. Number 12 is which channel already on YouTube will yours most likely be like? Well, after being on YouTube for three, four three, months. Three to four months. I mean, Josh and Kaylee are a lot like us. They're a couple channel. They're, I mean, they're dating and we're married. But like, and we're, we're an older couple and they're a younger couple. But like, a lot of the challenges are the same. Um... Uh, and like the Tim Tracker, we family vlog just like he does too. So we're a lot like them. Um, there's a lot of family channels out there that post their family, but they only do family vlogs to where we do, we do everything. Family vlogs, challenges, we're not just stuck in that small family niche 13 what is your favorite thing about the youtube community the support would be my biggest thing the support the positive feedback the negative feedback too as long as it's the constructive criticism um i mean we've been lucky enough that there hasn't been much trolls if any um we love the the community comes together and brings you up and if there is a troll that comes about usually the community comes and puts a stop to it and there's nothing better than that 14 is list your favorite thing about the youtube community and we pretty much did we explained that the positive feedback from you guys, the nobody puts each other down and we're there. It's support. We're supporting each other. 15, what do you think you could bring the YouTube community that isn't there already? Which, like I said, um, I would like to bring positivity. I would like to bring motivation. Um... I'd like to bring us, our personality, to YouTube. Um, there isn't very many, there isn't very many couples that do what we do. We family vlog, we do challenges, we do, I mean, it's us or me. I mean, you get our personality. That in itself. 16 is three things we should know about you. So you, you can start. Uh, number one is I'm a diabetic. Um, pretty much I'm a workaholic. I work a lot of hours at work to try to get us kind of ahead in life. Uh, we've been getting better through the years, but it's still trying to dig ourselves out. But it's getting there to where we're almost done. So, um... Other than that, number three for me, probably just, um, very rare to see a guy interested in Disney, but that's kind of my passion, is Disney, and looking up stuff for that. And the three things you should know about me is, one, if you ever met me in person, I am probably, like, one of the shortest people you've ever met, um, there, everybody is taller than me, even our son, who is almost four, is about as tall as me. So, there's one. Two is, I have PCOS, as you, you could tell from my later videos. I explained to you guys about it. And there's some days that are worse than others. So, there is that. And the third fact is going to be that I am an OCD. I... I have never been diagnosed with it, 
but if I don't do things the way I want it to be, it's gotta be redone. So, that last intro we did, I had to completely redo because as much as all the love I got on that video, I had to go back and it killed me for it to be as long as it was. And I kept saying it needed to be shorter. And even though everybody loved it and told me to not worry about it, I had to redo it. So, there are going to be days with my OCD that I can't think straight. So, I will be on one path to commenting to all you guys. And then I'll turn around and go and do something. And totally forget that I was talking to you guys. And So, don't take it personally if I do not come and comment on you guys right away. Um, I try to get to them. I do get to them. It's just not right away sometimes. And I may take a while to get to your channel. But I will get there. Um, 17 is what do you think the hardest thing will be about becoming a YouTuber? And being that we have been on YouTube now for almost four Five, almost four months. Almost four months. Well, actually, we started September 7th. And it's... Months, so it so. has been four months. We... Um, the hardest thing is... I want to say coming up with ideas. But there's a lot of times it'll strike me. And be so simple. And other times it'll be so hard. But I think one of the hardest things is coming up with the time... To be able to sit down and record the video. So time. So time. Time management. And editing. And knowing what you want to do with the video. And it could take me almost all week to make sure that the video is perfect to put out. What do you think your heart is? Having time to record. For me. That's because I work so much. Number 18 is, what do you think the most rewarding thing will be? Well, supporting community. The supporting community. And I think being able to reach out. And even one person coming back and saying that you helped them is enough for me. That's satisfying enough. Even though... We get so many people that love on us and there's so many people that have came to me saying like they've got um, autism, they've got some form of, what do I want to say, they, they, they're, I don't want to say they're not normal, but they're not there's there, you know something wrong and they will tell me that they get bullied for it and but they tell I just had a comment today that I was told that I love you guys I love your channel so many people put me down so many people bully me but you guys are there for me and that just made my day so I think that is the most rewarding thing about this is the people you can reach the friendships you can make that you would have never met just walking outside your door that alone is that alone means the world 19 is do you see yourself being on youtube for a long time hopefully <laughs> i i do because no matter what we are going to be doing things as a family. So, there may be times where we don't post as much maybe because either we ran out of topics or something. But, see, I always told myself if we came on YouTube, I didn't think we would ever make it as big. 
and we are now filming this video it is january 8th and we started september 7th so exactly four months ago we started with zero subscribers and we are now hitting 930 so we are almost about to make it in our by the time we hit our fifth month we should be hitting our 1k and I never thought I'd be seeing 1k and that is just amazing and I could look to you guys for video ideas and to see ourselves in the long run I don't think you guys would let us quit you guys would be giving us the support and motivation we would need to get back at it 20 is do you have any tips or advice for others who are just starting a YouTube channel be yourself and do what you're passionate about that's number one yes you gotta be passionate about it or you're not going to show your love and affection for what you're talking about. Um, also, don't just... I've, I've heard both ways. I've heard you, wa you don't want to go out looking for it. You want people to come to you. And I've seen people be successful that way. But I've also seen people support other people. Not sub for sub. Because sub for sub is just for numbers. But genuine, genuinely supporting a channel. Watching all of their videos. Commenting. You know, genuine comments. Loving on each other. That's what I've seen work too. But you got to start somewhere. So, but don't do sub for sub. That is just going to get you numbers. You need watch time as well. So you need to make sure. You need quality, not quantity. Exactly. You need people that are there for you. That's going to support you. And honestly, um, I kind of wish we didn't grow as big as we did because it didn't give me a chance to love on our supporters that have been there from the beginning so now we're sitting at 930 subs and I now am going back and watching videos and I'm trying to watch the whole playlist all the videos to make sure I give back and it is so much harder to do as you're growing so big. But you're also going to know who's there for you. And you're going to know who is supporting you, watching you. So please, make sure you watch the whole video. Two, like the video because it helps get the content out. And three, you want to genuinely comment something about the video, not just a generic comment because then they know you didn't watch the video. They know you're in a hurry. Um, and if it's a video you don't care about, just at least play it through. You don't actually have to sit. They don't know that you haven't sat there and watched the whole video. But like me i am somebody that supports you for the person who you are i may not be a gamer but there are so many gaming personalities out there that i enjoy and i will sit there and watch the video just because i know the type of person you are and i really like who you are not because you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. so please you guys you guys gotta give people a chance you gotta look into the person you got to just support people for who they are. I would have never made the friendships we made if we just stuck to our niche. 
so that is all we have for you guys today please while we're talking about it thumbs up this video please leave a comment down below anything you would like to tell us anything you'd like to see from us this was a challenge that we probably would have never done if we did not get challenged to do it and it gave us a chance to go through our questions and because if you watch our very first video it is so cringy so hard to watch and this is such a better way to speak to you guys because now that we've been in the camera for a little bit we have a better personality better communication with you guys and we also don't have nerves so thank you for watching this thumbs up the video and if you have not please go down and subscribe so you don't miss another video which is why you want to hit the notification bell as well anything you want to leave with just stay positive and do what you can to help other people be positive Remember, opportunities are created and you are the creator of those opportunities. So have a great day or have a great night wherever you're at.